on this pulpit on during our revival. Last night was one wonderful spiritual night. And I went home and I was I was still raising up my arms and praising God. Because you know, our Lord is worth a lot more praise than we can ever give Him. We need to praise Him all the time. Every day, every moment of the day. When I'm going in my car, I praise Him. When I'm in a restaurant, if I decide to pray, I'll praise Him wherever I am. Because you know, I'm not ashamed of my Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Hallelujah. I'll shout it up on the rooftops if they want me to. Amen. You know that's what the problem is now. Brother Bud just stepped all over my message. I <laughs> mean, he cropped it. <laughs> but he did real good. He did a good job. <laughs> you know, uh, because we do, we we turn on the television. We see nothing but bad things happening. That's right. Don't even watch that. We read the newspapers. You don't see any good news anymore. Very rare. It's like that song that I can't. And uh, whatever her name was that used to sing, we sure could use a little good news today. And things are a lot worse today than they were back then in the 50s and 60s. Oh yes. In all of my years that I've been living here, 75 years, you know. There have been a lot of changes that I've seen take place and a lot of good changes. Uh, yeah. But I've never seen the destruction that is coming today and the way people are behaving. They act like a bunch of animals. They don't even act like they're human beings anymore out here in this world. That's true. Right. That's true. Right. true. And uh, what I really want to speak on tonight is Getting into the ark of safety and staying there. All right. Yes. Uh, Genesis uh, chapter eight. I heard this little uh, verses here was told by uh, Franklin Jensen, a, a preacher that I listened to one time on the um, television. And it said that, verse 6 said, And it came to pass at the end of 40 days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made. And he sent forth a raven which went forth to and fro until the waters were dried up from off the earth. Also he sent forth a dove from him to see if the waters were abated from off the face of the ground. Yeah. But the dove found no rest for the sole of her foot. And she returned unto him and to the yeah. ark, for the waters were on the face of the whole earth. <coughs> then he put forth his hand and took her and pulled her in unto him and to the yeah. ark. And he stayed yet another seven days, and again he sent forth the dove out of the ark. Now to me and to uh, Franklin that day, the raven represented the unbeliever. Because you didn't, it didn't say in here that the raven returned to the ark. Only the dove. Because the dove could not stand to be out there where it was death and destruction. She wanted to be in the ark because she was safe there. And that represents the believers. And that's the way we are today. We are in the ark of safety. That's right. We are safely in the arms of God. We don't have to be afraid. Yeah. The devil has no power over us. Right. And they cannot take us out of his hands. Because we are secure there. And that's where I want to stay. And that's where we all need to be and to stay. Right. Because we're safe. And when we come into the church building, we know that we're the church, but this is the building. But when we are here, this is God's house. Right. And this is the place where we worship yes. Him. That's right. And we adore Him. I love Him with all my heart. And I just, you know, I can't imagine the way I used to live 
when I think back the way I did and behave, I am so ashamed even now that I would drink like I did and carry on. And you know, I believe that we are living in the last days. I believe that with all my heart and soul. And then I want to read over, you remember the story of the ten virgins. Five were wise. They were prepared for the bridegroom, but the other five, they were foolish. They had no oil for their lamps. And they wanted to take it from the five wise virgins. Well, they wouldn't let them have it. But the, the ones that weren't prepared, they didn't know that the, the bridegroom groom was going to come right away. They thought he was going to be away off. So they didn't get prepared. But when they came to, uh, when the bridegroom came, excuse me, i got to find my, my, um, my notes. <laughs> Thirteen. When they came in, got their uh, got back. Then they found out that the bridegroom had already been there. He's already come, and it was too late. But it says, "Strive in to enter at the straight gate." For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. When once the master of the house is risen up and have shut to the door. Uh huh. And ye began to stand without and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence you are. Because, you know, it's like when Noah built the ark. And we know that people probably scoffed and scorned oh, yeah. and, and laughed at him because it hadn't even rained. Why was he building an ark for? Oh, yeah. But God told him to. And he obeyed. Right. So he and his family were saved. Yeah. And I'm sure that after God locked the door, shut the door, ah. Noah didn't shut that door. No. God ah. did. Yeah. And when the people were wanting to come in, they couldn't get him because the door was shut. Hallelujah. And that's the way it's going to be when the Lord comes back. Now the door's open now yes, for is. anyone that wants to come in yeah. and receive the Lord. Yes. But after he shuts that door, they're not going to make it in. Oh, they're going to scream and holler and everything else. Yes, and you know, I think back Ooh, when those up. days, of those tavern days, and a lot of you young people don't even know, but praise God you don't ever don't well, know. Too. That's right. But when you go in, you know, you can't wait to get there for that last call for that alcohol yeah. before they shut the doors. Uh, because they got their rules and regulations, and you hurry up so you can get that last drink in. Yeah. But the people today, they're not listening to the call of the Lord. Because when he does shut that door, it's the last call. And they better answer him while there is still time. Good words. You know, I just preach on. I love the Lord so very, very much. And we serve a wonderful, loving God that will Come to our rescue anytime yes, you, we Lord. need him. He's thank always you, there. Yes, yes. No matter what we go through, we serve a merciful, yes. loving God. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I, oh, I praise him so much. It said that God is always merciful, and that is in Psalms 118. But it said when our will is weak and our reason is confused, Yes. When our conscience is burdened because of guilty feelings yes. or something we know we did, we shouldn't have done, or some thoughts we might have had. But always remember, God cares for us continually. Yes. He never stops Thank loving God. us. Hallelujah. His mercies never fail. Praise God. And when friends and families desert us, and when we are tired of trying to do everything we can that's right, God's mercy never fails. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. When we can't see the way Hallelujah. or to hear God's voice, when we lack courage to go on, God's mercy never fails. When we have shortcomings and become unaware of our sins, 
God's mercy never fails. Hallelujah. We'll go through dry spells. Yes. We can't stay on the mountain uh, all the time. Uh, uh, we will go through dry spells. Yes. But he'll never leave you then. Hallelujah. He'll never forsake you. Amen. No matter what. Amen. And if we never had any troubles or trials. How would we know? How would we know about God's mercy. Yes. And his goodness. Yes. We grow through our suffering. And that helps us. To reach others. That's going through the same yes. things. That we have gone amen. through. Yes, amen. And he gave us no rough roads to walk. And no mountains to climb and no battles to fight, we wouldn't grow. Amen. He stands beside us to teach and to strengthen us to, and to face those problems yeah. and those Amen. trials. Yeah. But he's always with us. He always. never yeah. fails. Yeah. Yes, true. I praise Amen. him, I thank him, and I praise you, be I thank you people for being here and hearing me tonight. God bless you.